Well, the Biden administration has announced rules that will make it harder for some electric vehicles to qualify for federal tax credits. Owners of eligible vehicles can receive up to $7,500 in credit per car. Joining us now is John Milikowski. He's the founder of Milikowski Tax Law. Uh, John, can you tell us what these changes are to the EV rules? Yes, thank you. These changes are really intended to create more jobs in the U.S., but also to create the sources for the batteries and other electronic uh, electric vehicle uh, parts in the U.S. And what the rules entail is last August, before that, there were no restrictions on where the vehicles were purchased or where the materials were sourced. Last August, the Biden administration added additional rules that the vehicles had to be assembled in the United States. And then today we learned that um, as of April 17th, the new restriction is that 50% of the battery's components have to be made in the U.S. and 40% of the critical minerals that are inside the batteries have to be either sourced or extracted or processed mm. or even recycled in the U.S. or from U.S. trading partners. And there's currently 20 different trading partners under the free trade agreement. Japan was recently added as a 21st as of last week. Uh, John, since we are in tax season right now, I uh, want to get your take on something. The IRS just released their dirty dozen list of common tax scams. Uh, tell us which ones taxpayers really need to be on the lookout for. That's a great question. So as a, we have a tax law firm and we're constantly hearing about these tax scams, but specifically the ERC, the Employee Retention Credit. Just as we had during the, the pandemic where there was millions of dollars being released by the government to help businesses pay for payroll, the ERC is where companies are now amending their payroll returns to get back taxes. And we're talking significant amounts. It could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. It could amount to about $28,000 per employee per year. So it's a significant amount. But why this is an issue right now, and the commissioner of the uh, of the IRS, Daniel Werfel, has indicated, it's a real problem because they're they're actually ref it's a refundable credit where they're refunding it back to businesses and there's a lot of companies out there who are not qualified to prepare these ERC uh, audits and and help co uh, companies amend their returns are doing so and putting potentially false information that allows these companies to get these significant uh, returns of funds. So what to do? Uh, what are the best ways to make sure that you don't fall victim to those scams? Well, you definitely want to vet out the professional. I mean, if you're hearing something on the radio about a company, uh, you, you want to check with potential CPA and find out if your CPA actually offers that service. If they don't, they might be able to provide you with a list of referrals of other companies or even a tax attorney who can help you. But there are some legal requirements. It's not just a number that's put on a return. There's legal requirements that determine whether the business suffered during COVID, you know, whether they meet the income threshold, the reduction of income of 20%. So there's a lot of different things that are involved but you, you, have to, you have to get a qualified professional. All right, John Milikowski, thank you so much. Thank you.